Hey guys, today we have a major update in store for you guys as we finally introduce statistics and leaderboards to our platform. This means that from now on, after each play, you can view your stats for that session and also your best play. This contains currently your score, accuracy and critical hit accuracy, all with a percentile difference compared to your previous play and to the rest of the world. Below, you can find an in-depth view of all three stats. These contain a chart that compares your performance with the rest of the world and places you accordingly in a percentile based skill bracket, going from the worst players to the best. For score, this is pretty straightforward, as the X axis represents all 10 skill brackets and the Y axis represents the achieved score. Next to the score chart, you can find the leaderboard for that specific training mode and difficulty level. If you want to see this for another game too, just select the desired game in the banner. Below the score chart, you can see your own score progression over time. If you open the in-depth view of your accuracy stats, you see a floating chart with again all 10 skill brackets on the x-axis and on the y-axis the accuracy percentile. The height of each bracket represents the minimum and the maximum accuracy achieved within that bracket. This means that for this player's skill bracket, the minimum accuracy achieved is 35% and the maximum is 55. You can also see your own accuracy within the bracket. Next to the accuracy chart, you find the high score table with the displayed accuracy percentile, so you can compare your own accuracy against the top players. Just like with the score, you find the accuracy progression chart below. The same goes for the critical hit accuracy statistic. Furthermore, we have introduced a new scoring system that allows for better insights into the statistics. And to round up this update, we've added crosshair hit markers for better feedback. So this was it for this update. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss a thing. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.